Hey everyone, it's Debbie Short and I'm here in the back office of my YouTube channel. Cha I'll get my words out. I'm here in the back office of my YouTube channel and I wanted to share something with you that's quite simple um, and yet a lot of people get it wrong. And what it is, it's all about the settings that we have on the videos that are for um, the privacy settings. So let me just go into this video here. Um, into the edit button and you will see that the privacy settings are set to public. So what public means is that anybody can view it and you can easily change the privacy settings while you're uploading um, the video in the privacy settings section. Most of the time, depending on how you upload your videos, it automatically defaults to public but you can quite easily change it. So what you would do is you would visit your video manager. Now let me show you that there are several ways that you can actually get into your video manager. So first of all over here on the left hand side if we click on that it takes us to video manager and then also up here where we've got the upload button there's a little drop down here and if we click on that there's video manager again and let me click there and it's going to show you exactly the same screen because we're already in video manager and then if we click on to a video itself and I'm going hey to guys, it's Debbie. stop the video you can see here there's video manager as well so that's just a little sidebar so visit your video manager and find the video that you want to change. So I'm going to go back to this video. I'm not actually going to change it, but what I am going to do is just show you by going here into the privacy settings and clicking the drop down arrow, you can see that we've got the options for public, unlisted, and private. So let me just recap on those. Now the public ones are the ones, if they're on your YouTube channel, that everybody can see. So that means anybody can view it. And then the next one that we've got is the unlisted videos. And making a video unlisted means that only people who have the link to the video can view it. And unlisted videos won't appear in any of your YouTube's public spaces like your channel or the search results or on your home page. And when I say the link, it's this link here, the video URL. So to, to enable you to be able to see an unlisted uh, video, you have to have this particular link. And the next one is private and a private video can only be seen by you and up to 50 other people who you invite to view the video. So this could be if I was to make this video private then I would add the names of the people that I wanted to see here. So for example they would be people who are in my Google Plus, in my Google Circles or I have their email address. So for example I'm going to put in the name of somebody who's a good friend of mine and I'm going to put his name in and it comes up straight away. So there is his name. I can change it by clicking on the X. So the private settings are where you have to actually add a name and you can also extend it to people that are perhaps in your extended circles that kind of thing or you might have a group of people uh, you might have for example um, this was a group of people and this was a group of people that I worked with on a couple of programs there was just six in that and four in that and it that video then would only show to them because they would have the invitation to that only because it was set on private. To make your video changes you also need to click on the save changes here. Now I am not going to change anything I'm going to leave my video on public because that's how it's set and um, I'm get, so this, if I save the changes they're going to be in there already there's nothing for me to change. So we've got privacy settings. I'm just going to do the drop down public, unlisted and private 
and um, I'm hoping that that's given you a little bit more of an insight into the difference as to why we would change our privacy settings. If you'd like to find out some more um, tips and tricks from me, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. There's a button here. You can either click on the link below in the description of the video or there should be a subscribe to my channel button that will have appeared at some point now and you can click on that and it will automatically subscribe you to my channel okay um, and also the other thing that you can do as well is please comment in the comments below if you've got anything that you want to add if I've missed anything please let me know and um, I, it'd just be great to hear from you Okay guys, I look forward to hearing more from you and I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now.